Okay, welcome back. This is part 17 of my complete file upload site tutorial series. And in the last video, we finished up our registration page, uh, and we send the email, but because my information is not set in some system files, my emails won't send using my localhost server, uh, which I discussed on the, very, the end of the last video. Uh, so what we're going to do now, if we go back to our home page and we click login, uh, just so it takes us to our login page, uh, and you can see we have our information inserted. Uh, so if we go back, if we open up our login page, so we want to open up login.php, and we scroll down for our query right uh, right here. Um, what this does is it makes sure it makes sure that the user is uh, found in the database. So now what we're going to do inside of this if statement right here is we are going to uh, create another query. So query, I'm going to call it query2, uh, and I'm going to say mysql underscore query. And what our query is going to do is it's going to make sure that the user is active. Or... Better yet, no, we'll just do this. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the user is active. So our query is going to be select active. So we're going to select only the active field in our database um, from users, which is our table name. Uh, so we're going to select the active field from our users table but only where the username equals dollar sign user. So our user variable that is up here. So it's the username that, that whoever is trying to log in with. Uh, and then we're going to use the numrows function again. So numrows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows right here. And then here we put our query 2. Make sure you have your query 2 and not query. Uh, so we're going to go to the next line down, and we're going to say if dollar sign num rows equals equals one. So this is going to return uh, one of two things. It's going to return a zero or a one, like always. Uh, and if it returns a one, that means the user is active. But if it returns a zero, that means the user is not active. So right here, we're going to say else. And we're just going to, actually, we don't really need this. <clears throat> so we're going to say uh, echo. And I'm just going to copy this, throw it in here, and change this message to uh, you must confirm your email to log in. Okay, and so now I'm going to copy and paste all of this right here. So your code, should, and we're going to paste it up here. So now your code should look like this. Now if you're downloading the free source code that will be in the description, uh, this video uh, will already be in the source code. So really you could just download the source code, but what are you learning if you do that? Nothing. So, yeah. So this will make sure the user is logged in when you try to log in. So if we refresh the page, whoops, if we refresh the page and we try to log in with admin and the password of password, click log in, we get you have been logged in, you'll be redirected momentarily, which is not what we want. And okay. So Perhaps we want this to be a zero. Uh, perhaps we want that to be a zero. So if we log out and then we log in with admin and password, click enter. Okay, you must confirm your email to log in. So now it's working. So you can't log in unless your email is already confirmed uh, with the confirmation email that we send in the register page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our new file 
and this is going to be our activate.php page. And I forgot the E in activate. There we go. So we're going to open it up. And I'm going to go back to the index page. There's a source code for it. And I'm going to hit Control A, Control C. So I'm going to copy and paste this and make it so it's just like this. So it, we're going to change the home value right here to activate account. Uh, yeah, activate account. So inside of here, we're going to throw in some PHP code block. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this down the next line. Da, there we go. So inside of here, the first thing we're going to do, obviously, like always, we're going to have our form. Now our form is going to have an action of uh, activates dot php <coughs> and the method is going to be get so we're going to use the get method and then we are going to uh, end the form so inside of our form we're just going to have a simple table table end table and in here we have tr end tr and go. It's a bit time consuming. Alright, so here we go. So, right here, we're going to put uh, username. Or better yet, what we'll do is we will uh, do what we've been doing before. So, I'm actually going to get rid of the entire table we have in here. And I'm going to copy and paste the table out and right here so we're gonna start displaying this instead so we're gonna grab our login form or just the table rather we we'll grab the login table and we're gonna put it inside of our activate page it's right here so if we whoops, go to activate.php you see we now have this so our username, password, and everything, it's, it's all there. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our register link because we don't want this on here because hopefully by going to this page, someone has already registered. <coughs> um, so what we're going to put in here, uh, we're also going to control X on our entire submit button and we're going to paste it a little bit further down. There we go. So, uh, not that. There we go. So, if we refresh our page, we now have it just like this, which is what we want. And if we try to click on this up here, it changes these values. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to set these to password box 2, uh, like we did in the other one, and username box 2 in the other video. So, if we save, refresh, now these values are changed when we enter into them. <clears throat> and I am going to get rid of the style so we're not centering it so it's all the way over here now so now what we're going to do is after our username and password we're going to create another field so I'm just going to copy and paste this one right here so the ID is going to be key code the name is going to be key code and the index is going to be 3 and the tab index for the button is going to be 4. So really, we're just going to change all of these values to key code. And the value will be key code. So, yeah. So if we refresh, we now have another box, but our value doesn't change because we haven't created our JavaScript uh, function to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm just going to copy and paste this and fill it out and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm not going to explain this again because I have explained it in one of the other videos of the series. Uh, so here it is. You can just copy it down. Uh, check out the other videos if you want it explained. So now, if we refresh, you see our key code is automatically changing. So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will uh, cr finish creating our activation page 
and then we will uh, be done with registration.